Over the last couple of months, I've been designing and creating one of the most coolest projects on this channel. So it all started roughly a year ago on a previous summer when me and my friend Jack decided to build a chicken coop in his backyard and get chickens. But when no one is around to take care of the chickens, someone has to close and open the door for the chickens. So it should be open during the day and closed during the night. This is why I took on this challenge and designed a garage-like door with a chicken coop controller for the chickens. All right, so here's the plan. Okay, so this is the luxurious chicken coop we build. Here's the door, right? The door slides up and down. So when it's up, it's open, and when it's down, it's closed. And we have a pulley system. So a rope, which ties to the door, and then there's a motor right here. And when the motor spins, the door opens, and then it spins the reverse way, and the door closes. And that's the mechanism. Now we need a powerful enough motor for this task, so we tried getting one from one of my friends who has a bunch of electronic stuff laying around. And we actually found this beefy windshield wiper motor over there, and we tried hooking it up, and it did work, but it was actually way too powerful and way too big for this task. So we went with this Chinese motor which we bought off Aliexpress. Okay, so here's all the parts we will need. I'm gonna unbox them right now. Ooh, custom PCB. That's it. Now I'm gonna move on to building it. Now for this project, I got a custom made PCB to mount all the components onto it. And yeah, it was not designed by me. It was designed by this guy. Big thanks to him and it was made by JLC PCB company also big thanks to them and I did edit the PCB so it would have my logo and it would say designed by Russian inventor in California Apple reference for you okay so now we have all the parts and it's finally the time to put them together to solder them and here's a montage Now that all the modules are connected, I uploaded this already pre-written code by the same guy who designed the PCB and tested it out. Alright, so after a while of working, I got the motor working with this device which I created. Here's the screen on it, you have, can see a bunch of settings, really complex stuff, rocket science as you can tell, right? So. Uh, I can control all the settings on the go right here on the screen. Let me turn on the motor right now. As you can see, the motor is spinning. I put some tape so you all can see it spinning. Uh, and it's actually pretty tough. Like, it's, uh, it's really hard to stop with just my bare fingers because it's meant to open a door, so it has to be really powerful. Uh, now we gotta uh, ch uh, change and tweak all those settings and try to have it so it would open on a specific time period. Um, and yeah, we're, we're gonna try to do it with this device. Now I, I did a lot of tries and I spent few days trying to figure out how to use this code uh, for my purpose because it is originally meant for watering plants, not opening and closing a door. So I did a lot of tweaking and uh, tries, but I couldn't figure out, so I decided to write my own simple code, do some pro gamer skills, you know. Luckily, I have some experience coding, so it did help me out do this task.
So first of all, I coded this simple menu with a bunch of settings which you can scroll through with a knob. And then I coded this time uh, stamp at the bottom which shows the exact time it is which would be useful for the future to know for the controller to know exactly what time it is. And then I connected this button so it would all work with the press of this button and so that the motor would spin exactly when it is time for the motor to spin. Now with it all working, I need a case for this thing since it's going to be sitting outside. I drew a little design and took some measurements and then sent it to one of my friends who works at Tap Plastics and he made this really cool looking uh, case made out of a uh, plexiglass. It looks really good, I really like it and it is also transparent so it would show all the work and all the modules we have put in. Now then I put all the modules and the board into the case and connected power supplies and buttons to it and it was the exact time to mount it to the chicken coop so I went over to the Jack's house and we connected it all. Alright, so I'm at Jack's house. Yes, this is Jack. Uh, How'd you do that? <laughs> magic. Okay, so here's the chicken coop and my plan is to... Here's the actually the controller, right? All the motors and stuff. My plan is to do this. So we have a motor right here and then we have a controller right here and we can have end buttons either on this side or on this side and the door opens like this. Yep. So that's the plan. How's it work? Pretty good. Give me a thumbs up. Alright, so we got the whole machine and everything, and right now we're gonna do the test. We only got the top end button, and we're gonna see if it should stop, because right now, it, theoretically, the door is gonna be opening for 30 seconds, and that's way too much. So, the, the button should stop it. Let's see. Okay, it's, it's slowly opening. Nice! Oh. It stopped precisely. Yeah, that's good. Wait, 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 give me a thumbs up. That's good. Okay, so this is the test number two. Right now we're gonna test both of the end buttons. This is how the final result is gonna be. We just finished building this. It was really hard, right? You can tell by his face that it was really hard. But uh, here, here's all the wiring and right now the Controller is turned on and technically it should work. Ready? Okay. You press the button once for it to go up because the door thinks it's closed right now, which yeah. it is. The door is going up and perfectly stopped has exactly the well, amount of space. Well, it's kind of, we should move this over because the tape. Uh, I think it's fine. Okay, okay, Ready? now. Now we test the one that's going to close. Press it. So, it's closing right now. Ooh, that was Ooh. good. Again? The moment you all have been waiting for the plastic peel peeling. Wait. Ready? Yep. Oh, oh let's go. 
Now you can set the door to be opened and closed automatically. All you just have to do is change the settings for when you want the door to be opened and when you want the door to be closed and it will do just that. Now we also mounted this security camera which uh, is monitoring the chickens and here's the chickens reactions. So here's one of the first times they saw the robot machine open the door and they were kind of scared of it but they quickly got used to it. Also, you can see at the top above, the time when the door opens it and the time when the door closes is exactly precise, which is really good. That means my code works really well. And this is one of my favorite parts is the chickens got used to the door so well that they straight run for the door as soon as it opens. I count this project as a huge win and a success. Uh, let's celebrate. Uh, not a lot of my projects get used on daily basis and this is actually something really useful. By the way, I also really love the idea of automating things just because it's so cool that uh, you can simplify a task by just automating it. And yeah, you could potentially use this for watering your plants or maybe automating your curtains so they would open during the morning automatically and close during the night automatically. You don't even have to change the code, just use the same code. Thanks for watching this far. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and turn on not notifications to see more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.